Everything is extraordinary about the Yukon. The climate, the people, the people that are attracted to the Yukon are very special. You know, there's not a, not a day I don't love coming to work. It's, it still is, is uh, it catches my attention every day. The, the way of life, the sky, the beauty. I, I love the Yukon. It's a fantastic opportunity to come and work here as a nurse. It's a wonderful place to raise a family. Um, the school systems are great. Um, there's lots of opportunity for the kids to be involved in sports events. Um, I feel very safe having the children here. Even the winter, with um, all the snow and the cold, it's, it's unique, it's beautiful. Crisp days with blue sky and beautiful shimmering snow. I mean, what could be better? Up here, you know you're making a difference. You know, you, people really appreciate who you are. Beauty, adventure, opportunity, north of 60 in Canada's Yukon. Ever since the gold rush, nurses have worked in the Yukon, and today's nurses still come for the adventure and the opportunity. What you'll find is a chance to do something different and to make a difference as well. First coming to the Yukon was May 1993, leaving Inuvik in a snowstorm, arriving here in my parka and it was a lovely, lovely spring day. There was no snow here, I had to change gear, get into my, my spring clothes. We talked to a number of people who'd been here and how much they enjoyed being here and working here and, and we thought it'd be a nice adventure, you know, duly married and no kids and thought, well, let's go check it out and we said, okay, we'll come for a year. My husband uh, is Canadian, he grew up in Whitehorse and um, we got uh, married in Germany and then we decided to come over uh, to Canada together. I came here in 1993 and I've never seen a snow before before that. So came from a country that had temperature of 35 degrees centigrade to a country which is minus 35 degrees centigrade and this all happened in 24 hours. Like so many other people, I came to the Yukon probably for a year, you know, and uh, fell in love with it and been here for seven years now. You'll also find a vibrant place that offers the best of both worlds, pristine wilderness and the latest in modern technology. Today's my first day at the hospital. Well, it's fantastic. We've certainly been, um, you know, we've stepped right into the fire. We've had a lot of trauma going on since we started this morning at 8. But the, the staff um, work very well as a team and very well supported. Um, it, it's been fantastic, yeah, so far so good. Copper Ridge Place is a long-term care facility. When I came here, I was just blown away. They have all the resources they need. They have lifts in every room. All the rooms are very generously equipped. Um, there are uh, therapy staff for nutrition, for rehabilitation, um, occupational therapists, recreational therapists, physiotherapy. If I was ever in the place to not be able to care for my own parents, I think this would be the place to give them into care. I know sometimes the facilities are regarded from outside, in brackets, uh, as being maybe primitive, but they aren't. The health centers are all really well maintained and clean and bright and they're great places to work. They're just smaller. <laughs> One of the big things that's occurred in the Yukon is the um, implementation of telehealth, which is video conferencing for health purposes. They can use it for um, clinical sessions. Uh, you could do it for things like discharge planning, diabetes education, uh, family visitations. It's great technology for that. I think that you'll find that the Yukon is the first place to have every single community linked with video conferencing, telehealth. So in that way, we're ahead. Miles ahead. <laughs> <laughs>